Alexandra Andujar, a homeless 23-year-old single mother, will head to work soon after finishing what could be her last and only meal of the day at this soup kitchen in New Rochelle. Unemployment decreased in Westchester from 8% in 2010 to 5.2% today. New York's overall economy grew 0.2% in its first quarter this year. Yet people like Andrew Jar who work I'm off books, I work in stores still having a hard time affording food. Andrew Jar is just one of an estimated 200,000 people here in Westchester who go hungry every day. They're called food insecure. It's, it basically means that um, at one point or another the family or the individual worries about um, having adequate and nutritious food. And I think the key there is um, nutritious or quality food. Those 200,000 are the largest number of food insecure people since 2008 in the area. Aisha Khan works with the Food Bank for Westchester. Their job is to fight off hunger. So in last year, we distributed 7.2 million pounds of food and in the next fiscal year, we've committed to increasing that number by over um, an additional 1 million pounds going out in Westchester County. Um, but for us, the solution really isn't just about getting additional pounds out. It's using more metrics to identify who do we get those additional pounds out to. But their competition when it comes to helping people in need is one that keeps growing living expenses. The rising prices of rent, electricity and gas continue to multiply food insecurity, reaching a 50 percent increase in just seven years. Westchester County is very, very expensive. The cost of living is, is very expensive and it's not something that is always manageable. It's really having to make the decision of do you pay your utilities bill or do you buy groceries? Do you um, pay for health insurance or you know, are you paying for um, healthy, nutritious food? Amelia Luongo is a construction worker who chose to keep a home. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky. I get to go home and take a shower. At the food bank, the mission is not over until Luongo and many others get to live life without thinking how or where to find the next meal. And, you know, it really is our motto around here that one day we want to work ourselves out of jobs. And that's that's what we're striving for. And the bank is not the only one hoping for a brighter future. It'll get better in the morning. For the local life, I'm Brenda Blanco.